this line that we're doing now is actually called a princess line, one that runs over the bust and up into the shoulder in the back and the front. And it was really, it seems strange that we say that, you know, something like this pattern making method um, could be invented by somebody, but the attribution for this style is given to Charles Frederick Worth. Um, and it's called a princess style. And that's because when he first became uh, famous, he dressed by dressing Princess Eugenie of um, France. I hope I haven't slaughtered that name too badly. Um, and uh, because she was uh, his most famous customer, um, the line was named after her. So this is a princess line uh, created by Charles Frederick Worth and now created by you. So now we're going to have a go at turning our front darts um, into panel lines. And this, uh, one reason why you do this is because uh, if you're making something uh, like a personal or sort of made to measure garment, panel lines are always much easier to fit. You can, you can shape them really well because you can see on the dummy here that you've got, you know, like this whole length to manipulate. Whereas, you know, if you've got your original block, you've got these two darts here, you know, all you can really do with this uh, once the garment is cut out and made up is to make these a little bit, t you know, like make them a bit bigger so that so it's tighter there or maybe, you know, like make the, make the, um, this length, uh, this dart a little bit bigger or smaller as well, but then that throws out your back seam anyway. Whereas this one here into the shoulder, you can make this, you can, you, can, you can put fit in there. You can actually make it more fitted under the bust. So it's neater here, but keeps the same width here. And also too, sometimes depending on a person's shape, they actually need a little bit of fitting taken out. So you're actually, you know, like nipping out a little bit of fabric there across the, uh, across the front chest there, but keeping the shoulder the same and keeping the bust the same. So it's really um, open to uh, manipulation once the garment's been made up. And two, if you, um, you know, it does give, it also gives these, you know, much more striking uh, lines on the body. So vertical lines rather than like this horizontal line created from that side dart here. Um, and you can also play with things too. You could even add like a center front seam and you could have stripes, you know, you could cut the stripes so they were going up here the front so you had like a you know like a V coming down and then you know like you could have them coming down here as well so you can manipulate a particular fabric um, they there are they aren't as good um, if you like if you, if you were going to, to do a stripe fabric the stripe will get thrown out a little bit on the side here um, and if you were doing a pattern like a big pattern as well like you might not want to do those panel lines if you're going to chop up the the pattern of the fabric but um, yeah their main the, the main purpose of panel lines like this is um, to achieve a much more refined fit on the body okay so we start off with our our same fitted bodice block and the first thing we have to do is we're going to have find the the center point on our on our shoulder here and we're going to draw in our line. So remember that when we manipulate our front darts, we always have to go through the bus point. So we draw our line down to the bus point here. Um, and then we're going to um, take this down. Actually, that's going to continue down all the way down to this point here. And then this other side here. is going to be our side panel. So this line that I've drawn in is that line from the bus point up to the shoulder here. And then this line here, or this line here is, is this line here. Okay, and then we're going to, so this, so when we trace off this, we're gonna trace off the center front line now. So down the center front, over to our dart, our neckline, to our shoulder point and then mark in our bus point and then when we take that off we can connect these three points here
and then we need to do a little cross point so we're keeping you know we can actually use the the bus point as a as a notch and what I'm going actually one thing I'd forgot to do before we're just going to put in a balance notch halfway because you because these um, once this yes because they go slightly off onto the bias it's always a good thing to have another balance point inside oh along that sh uh, seam up to the shoulder here just makes it easier to sew it? exactly because you've got quite a long length there and it's easy to get a little bit off kilter when both pieces go slightly onto the bias and the more curved that line gets the more notches you want exactly to right sew it together yeah so that's our um, our center front panel and this will be cut on the fold but we'll show you the final pieces shortly and then to get rid of our side seam here I'm just going to we won't be adding seam allowances onto this so I'm going to use this as a guide here actually one thing that we need to do before we trace out this side section we need to know where the grain line is on this piece because they're going to be separated we want a grain line over here as well so this is something I can do because I'm working with a half scale here I can actually just you know put this on and draw a parallel line parallel to the original grain line there but if you were working in full scale you could actually measure that across so maybe like 10 centimeters across draw a little mark 10 centimeters across draw a little mark and then join those two together on a, and you know and that would be where this line is in you know full scale so we've got that as our reference point and that's really important hey, to keep side of straight grain on that piece because it's in once you take it away it's impossible to figure out where your grain line is yeah exactly but that's what you know it's also what's good about keeping your original mm. sort of like you know master pattern we call it sounds very pompous but <laughs> you know like just your original plan of what's happening um, so that you know if you're if you feel that like once you've done you know this side piece that something's gone a bit awry with the grain line you know you can always put put Keep those it. pattern pieces yeah. back on here or this on top of the pattern piece and you know and just rework that point okay so this um, shoulder bit stays the same here so this is our side panel and it's going to stay the same down to the top of our dart there and we're going to put in our bus point and we're going to put in our balance notch along the way and now so this has all stayed the same but we want to get rid of this dart here so we have to pivot this dart out so we're going to pivot from the bus point and we're going to close this so see here it swings around until we close that dart on the side and then we do the side seam and the rest of the waist here okay so then we take this off and we've got our bus point there our balance notch here and we just connect these points and we'll connect this with the with the waist and I drew my grain line in and then I didn't transfer it <laughs> So let's just go back and add our grain line in here. And you'll see that on here, our grain line would have gone down. So it would have been more of, at more of a right angle than, uh, you know, if this came all the way down, more of a right angle on the original. But you can see here, this has gone more off grain. But the reason I've kept you know the grain line matching the top is so that the this grain line the grain line of this seam matches on both pieces so you don't get any sort of warping or twisting around that because that's the most important point whereas this is a bit less important visually on the garment so we're just going to straighten up the side seam a little bit there and at the bus point here because at the moment it's coming at a real point over the bus point so what we're going to do is we're going to come back and this is going to be just make a make a nice curve so here I suppose I've done two and a half millimeters so that'll be like five millimeters in full scale um, and just to have our bus point there 
So it's because because the body doesn't have any corners, it doesn't have any points, and even though you know we're we're quite definite about um, uh, about using the bus point when we pivot our darts out, like once the dart is actually pivoted, we can just soften up that line over the bus there. Okay, so then we've turned both of our darts into a panel line. So you can see here, and just you know, looking at these on the dummy, this is our original block. This is our block with the darts, with sorry, with the panel lines. And you can see the fit on the body is exactly the same on both of them. It's just that you know you have those different lines. So you're manipulating the the darts into a panel line, but keeping the same fit on the body. Okay, so that's our front. Oh, and here we go. We've actually some I prepared earlier. So you can see here I've added seam allowance onto this, I've added a shoulder seam allowance. I haven't added the waist because this is actually the pattern that I made to create my little twile here. So I just wanted to sew the panel lines together. You can see that I've added seam allowances onto both of those and made sure that I transferred from my balance points here onto the, onto the raw edge, my notches, so that when you sew this together you know, you match this there and then match this at the waist and then it comes around and matches at the bottom. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing with our back panels. Let's have a drink of water. So if we spin these around, you can see on this side, so this is the original, this is the block. So we've got our waist dart going down uh, into the back waist and we've got our shoulder dart as well coming from the shoulder down to the shoulder blades there. And then what we're going to do is actually join those two together and create one continuous panel line from the shoulder down to the waist. Um, and again, this is good because it means that you can um, manipulate, you know, like the fit through the back there. So if you had like, you know, if you put a, two, a wider seam allowance across the back there, uh, like a two centimeter seam allowance, you could make that seam allowance smaller, you know, if, over the shoulders. If, they've, if somebody's got a rounder back, you can reduce the, the size of the seam allowance, which will give you more fabric across the back of the garment. Or you could, if somebody's got a bit of more of a sway back, you could taper the, you know, the, the, uh, the fitting into the back waist so that it's tighter there, but it stays the same here. So it just means, like I said before, that you can manipulate the fit a lot more if you've got those panel lines. And this is something too, if you were doing a dress using the fitted dress block, these are, this panel line could then extend down into the skirt um, and then, you know, be flared out into a uh, you know, into a train or some fullness in the back hem or something for an evening wear look. Okay, so this is um, pretty easy. The only thing we have to do here is we have to check, because I've got a feeling that this, where the dart is, isn't in the centre um, of, the, of the, the back shoulder here. I think it is on the full scale block, but I don't think it was on this half scale block. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure, um, it's 3.5 from the armhole up to this halfway point on our front shoulder. So we're just going to check this here and you can see if I measure that, it's actually that point there, not that point there. Mm. So we're just going to keep that in mind. Um, so all we need to do is that's a one centimeter, the original dart. So we can just move that across here and then we can yeah, have our dart change, coming it? across here. It's only a little bit, but it means though that when we, when we make our panel line, it mm. will match on the shoulder like this one here does. Mm. So just, um, just check that. Um, I'm sure it's fine in the full scale one, but just, just keep that, that in mind. Who made that half scale block? I'm sure it wasn't me. Um, I'm sure it wasn't you. You would never have made I would that never do that. Um, so in preparation for dividing our back bodice into two pieces, 
we're just going to put a join between the dart, the shoulder dart, um, and our waist dart here. So this is how you connect the two darts when you're making a panel line, not when you're going to, you know, use that as a pivot point and pivot it around. This is, you know, a your only way of connecting these two points. So from our shoulder up, oops. just need to mark the bottom of our dart and the top of our dart here. Um, take this away, actually, let's just check. Uh, now we're joining these lines together. Okay, so there's our back um, seam that we've created. This really, you know, is, there's a tiny angle there, but I really wouldn't bother about that, or even this one here. Um, so I don't, you know, like, you know, it's not as if you, you would literally be flattening that off, you know, like, oh, I didn't, didn't even do anything. Um, so, so yeah, that's quite, a, that's quite a good panel line. And that's because there's much less shape in the back anyway. So of course the panel line's going to be um, a much softer, line than, than the front is. So, um, yes, actually, yes, so we're going to have, we're actually going to use those points um, as, as notch points for when we're joining the center back piece to the side back piece. Okay, and then our side back piece here. So all of this stays the same, armhole stays the same, waist stays the same, side seam stays the same, waist stays the same until the dart arm. And then we're just going to continue that up to our new halfway position there on our shoulder. And we'll need a grain line too. And I will need a grain line, great point Libby. So because this is half scale, I can just do this but if you've got a full scale one you'll probably need to measure across at the bottom of the of the grain line and then measure across at the top um, so that it fits um, on both pieces so then yes no no good making one if you're not going to transfer it onto the pattern piece <laughs> so we'll draw that in straight away and again these um these panel lines because we're not actually moving, we're getting rid of the darts, but we're not moving them. So, um, yes, yeah, so we don't have to, you know, manipulate this, uh, this grain line stays the same because it's, you know, like the pieces haven't actually moved, they've just been separated. So, is that actually, looks like I've got two marks here, so that's that there. There and there are our two marks, and you can see because this because this um, uh, dart goes a little bit off, it's more diagonal. You do get a little bit more sh of an angle through here and at the um, top of the waist dart there. So if you want to, you can just shave a little bit off of that. Okay. And then our new line that we've drawn will be the line that you use to add the seam allowances on. So these are the pieces I've done before. So this is one with the uh, seam allowance on, seam allowance added, um, and our side panel here with the seam allowance and added. And you can see these two joining together. The waist there. Yeah. Okay, so just remember, this is your center back. So um, if you've got a, if you're going to have a zip down the center back, then you'd need to add at least a centimeter seam allowance or two centimeters for a regular dress zip. Otherwise, uh, this is going to be placed on the fold. So I won't write anything on that because it will depend on the, um, on the style that you're making. And I noticed on this piece too that I haven't, 
mark my um, armhole notches there and I don't have a seam allowance on here but I would need to add one like I said before these pattern pieces were what I used to create these little twirls and it doesn't have a seam allowance around the armhole okay so there's some uh, turning our back panel line uh, back darts into panel lines <laughs>